So I'm sure everybody has seen these plastic thingies. These are called as plectrums and we use this to play the guitar. So let me show you the difference between using a plectrum and not using the plectrum. So I played the guitar using the plectrum first. And let me play the same thing without using the plectrum. As you can hear, the main difference is the sharpness and the clarity of the note. So now that you understand how important plectrums are, let's try to understand how to hold it properly. So the first thing in the process of holding a plectrum properly is uh, half open your hands like this. Now make sure that you keep the plectrum on your first finger on the edge of it though. And the next thing I want to do is close your thumb and try to make it like a cross. Make sure only a quarter of the pick is out. No more than that. Your pick should not be hanging around like this. That's a completely wrong way. Second thing that you need to notice is this hole should not be filled in. There has to be a gap there. Only if you have a gap there, you're holding it properly. Once you get that going, next thing is bring your pick closer to the strings. Make sure that your wrist is straight. The wrist is not supposed to be like this. Or like this. Both of this can give you serious injuries. So keep it rest, keep it at a very natural position. And then try to play a simple downstroke. Make sure your pick is 90 degrees with the string. It's not like this or it's not like that. These are all the indicators that you're not holding the plectrum properly. So just to recap, keep your fingers half closed. Keep the pick on the first finger. Close it with your thumb. The tip of the pick should be in the same direction as your nail. Bring it back to the strings and give it a good stroke downwards. And that's how you hold a plectrum.